Susie is living in a safe house, having escaped her captor. She was brought to the UK by a man from Ghana who promised to marry her, but things changed when she arrived. He said he is a man, he can do whatever he wants to do. Right. I shouldn't ask him any questions. You know how much he paid to brought me this country? She know how much this and that. So I just shut my mouth. The person wants to sleep with you. The person don't care about you. They don't care about what you eat. They don't care about anything. I just want to cry. Just force, force, force like you are any mind. They don't feel like anything for you. They don't think about you. They don't care about you. The person says he love you, but they don't care about you. They don't care about you. OK, have a break. Have a break. Susie's distress is understandable. The man who held her took her passport, told her she'd be arrested if she went to the police, and for years kept her as a sex slave. All what they need is selfishness. They care about yourself. Yeah. They want to rule your life. They want to sleep with you. That's it. They treat you like a rag. And how long did you live with this? I've been with that thing in so many years. I hate them. I, I hate them. I hate men. Under government guidelines, the Home Office should decide within 45 days whether there are conclusive grounds to categorise Susie as a victim of modern slavery. But she's been waiting much longer. I'm going nearly one year, six months. One year, six months, and you still haven't got that recognition yet? No, they didn't answer. We are waiting. Sadly, a year and a half wait is not unusual for a decision that should take days. Earlier this year, the Prime Minister described modern slavery as the great human rights issue of our time. On a trip to Africa, she announced measures to tackle the problem of trafficking. But charities say some victims aren't being properly supported and some even fall back into slavery because of difficulties and delays. In reality, what we're seeing is that victims are waiting much, much longer for those decisions. So the average wait time for a conclusive grounds decision last year was 303 days. But there is a constant background anxiety of them knowing that any day a decision could come through the post. It could be a decision in their favour or it could not be a decision in their favour. And that can really hamper someone's ability to meaningfully recover in that time. This art exhibition in London features photos of and artwork by former slaves. Here we met the government's former independent anti-slavery commissioner, Kevin Highland. Before resigning, he recommended processes were speeded up and protections improved. He says the Home Office agreed to his proposals, but a year on hasn't implemented any of them. We know that there are problems. They've been identified. The solutions have been put forward. And a year later, we're still waiting for those to be implemented. I think we have to accept that's just not good enough. One of the things I highlighted to the government was the fact that it was taking so long to make decisions. And in many ways, you know, it's not the funding that's put into this that's the problem, it's the decision making. Because if those decisions were made in a much shorter time, that funding could be used to give the victims other opportunities, education, work and whatever else that may be. A year and a half for a decision is just not right. And it's a year and a half of living in limbo. And what is life like for those people? Well, these people are, in a way, on a, held on a piece of string. In 2014, a Home Office study estimated there were between 10 and 13,000 slaves in the UK. But the Walk Free Foundation recently suggested there could be as many as 136,000. More than 5,000 victims of slavery and trafficking were referred to the police in the last year alone. That's a 35% increase on the year before. Even if someone is formally recognised by the Home Office as a victim of modern slavery, they are only entitled to 14 days additional specialist support. They may still have to make an asylum claim. They may still struggle to find accommodation. Sexual exploitation is the most common form of slavery. Susie has this message for any victim who happens to be watching. Anybody who come here anything happens to you, go to the police. Report to the police. Police will help you to go away from your situation. That is the only thing I'm going to tell everybody. The Home Office says slavery cases can take time because of their complexity. 
but new reforms will markedly improve the systems for identifying and supporting victims. Jason Farrell, Sky News.